Hello friends, Metabot here, and today we're going to play some more Romancing Saga 3. Uh, last time we recruited Ward, and if you've been tracking my progress, uh, you may have noticed I got a trophy that I didn't actually get on cam, because I actually like made sure I knew the way to get to Ysturm so I could meet Ward, and then I talked to him and recruited him. Uh to play around with formations and think about them and stuff and uh, I got the trophy off cam and then I went back and loaded my save so I could play uh, on camera. Last time we set up our formation and we are ready to go. Let's check out Ward's equipment. He's got a Tzvihander, that's good. A cudgel, we don't really need the cudgel. We can give him the long sword so he has two kinds of swords. Oh, we don't have any, uh... let's take the buckler. Actually, he'll be using the long sword, so or the great sword, which is two-handed, so he won't use uh, shield that much. We like lost our shields when we lost other characters. Um, yeah, we don't have much in the way of. Does she not have an axe? I thought Nora had an axe. Oh well. This looks like the best uh, setup we're gonna get for right now. So let's go ahead and uh, I don't know if we saved. Let's save the game. Let's start fighting some monsters. Um, as always, we don't really have to fight the monsters here. But we're doing so to uh, train up our characters. And then Monica learned some magic. She learned Lunar, Le Lunar Light and Soul Freeze. And when you buy magic for a character, it comes free with the lowest level spell of that uh, magic school. So she knows Shadow Bolt. We're gonna do it once per battle, at least for the first five battles, in hopes of gaining MP. Because you start out with five MP, which is not very much. And uh, to gain MP, you have to use magic in battle. Or at least cue the magic in battle. You don't have to actually like get your turn off, but you do have to at least have chosen a magic command with that character. He'll attack that one, and everyone else can attack this, and then she's going to move back to... We're training her on the bow, still. Lunar Arts leveled up, HP increased, bow leveled up. She didn't gain any MP though. That's what we were wanting. But she did level up her Lunar Arts, so they're now level 2, which is nice. I think they start at level 1 when you buy a new art. Uh, when you buy a new spell. For a new magic school. We might get some glimmers in here of some low level skills, which would be really nice. I almost ran into this. Oh, we actually surprised the enemy. <laughs> I thought we were going to, uh. lose our formation because I was running, and then we actually, like, surprised the enemy, which is, like, the opposite of that. Which we get a whole turn for free when that happens.
I forgot to use magic with Monica. That's okay. We just need to do it five times while we're out here, and we'll have way more than five times, uh, five battles to go through. Fight this bird. Come here, birdie. Glimmered light speed. That's nice. And it's not a very powerful uh, skill, but I think it like goes fast, um, which he's pretty fast already. So, yay! MP increased. I think it just goes up one at a time. Yeah, now she has six MP instead of five. But uh, six is better than five, so I will take it. She actually has enough MP to cast Soul Freeze now. Of course, well, max MP to cast Soul Freeze. She can't actually cast it now because... Um, she's already used some of her MP. And she only started out with 5 anyway, so... Oh, nice. Oh, he got stunned. I was like, now Ward can take out the frog on his own, but he got stunned. That's... That's a shame. But it wasn't too big of a deal. Ah, uh, Monica didn't get any MP. Let's fight this goblin, and then we can fight the fishes. But they're kind of hard to, like, get them to come out of the water. And, uh, I remember one time I fought some fishes here and they were, like, really strong. We'll see if we can get them to jump out. There we go. Oh no, this guy's not strong at all. At least I don't think it is. MP increase, nice. Okay. Whoops. Okay, these look strong. <laughs> Only did nine damage. The thing in the back, I don't know if it's gonna be able to attack or not. Oh, yep, it can attack from the back. Oh, poison needles. That was a bit scary. And it heals. Okay. Oh, Sarah might die. Oh, it healed itself 121 from that. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the other fish just to attack. Yay, it jumped up. Oh, what is that? 
There's some crazy stuff out here. Oh, she's out of MP, so she can't cast Shadow Bolt. It's like Scissor Man from Clock Tower. Um, oh, that's at 101 damage with that uh, arrow. That's good job, Sarah. It only did 80 damage to him, as opposed to 121 damage that it did to Sarah. Okay, those are a little dangerous. I feel like maybe the fish here are like at an elevated battle rank. Yeah, see, getting the fish to jump out of the water is annoying, so we're just gonna skip fighting the fish. Let's see if there, that one jumped out. What did it do? It like turned sideways and then missed. I wonder what it was trying to do. Oh man! All our attacks together and it still didn't die. And it healed itself 52. Ooh! In prison. Nice. Monica already has in prison, but uh, it's nice to have two people with in prison. Let's see if we can get this one to jump out, since it's like right here. No. got birds flying around. This is an easy battle. Just one Helldiver. It's kind of weird. We've been fighting these hard battles and then we just get one Helldiver. And then we fight these Mollusks. Oh, these Octopus things are kind of strong for where we are right now, I think. Heptopus? Maybe I'm uh, misremembering. Oh, they weren't that bad. Here we learned Sunder. Nice glimmer. Always good to get glimmers. Let's make sure nobody is like full. No. Not even close. Let's strike. Okay, he comes with Smash, which is good. Maybe we could get the fish to jump out. And the bird's like not. Here it is. the same encounter as last time. Charcoal. Shouldn't it be like ink, not charcoal? Why is it charcoal? Ah, he missed. That would have been a great turn if he hadn't missed. Sword level up on uh, Warden. He starts with a pretty high level, so yeah, he's level 9 now. Um, Robin is level 13. Piercing. Sarah's level 10, Bo, man. We're getting some good levels here. Uh... 
Let's go ahead and save. Never hurts to save. More fishes. More mollusks. Yeah, it's funny doing all these battles if you're coming off Romancing Saga 2 where you don't want to battle much at all. Um, or at least you want to be really picky about the battles that you do. In this, you just kind of want to battle everything. It doesn't matter. Um, there's an elemental over there. We can't really reach any of that stuff. There's a flower. It's an easy battle. Let's see if we can get a fish to jump out. No. <laughs> okay, we got elementals flying around here. I'm not going to wait for them to come over. Okay, this is where we need to go. Um, I'm going to change our formation because we don't want all of the attacks focused on one character because we need to survive this battle and it can be kind of hard. Um, and so if the attacks are more spread out, there's a better chance of survival. Plus, we want the speed boosts. And we just hop over here, and this fishy comes out at us, and we have to fight this boss. Um, so we will just attack with our strongest attacks. Oh, we only have faint and imprison with Monica. <laughs> so she'll just have to do regular attack, I guess. She glimmered light speed. Now we have an attack. Oh, okay, so Frigid Veil makes it so it's guards against damage and it does damage back when it gets attacked. Um, but it only lasts one time and it healed 218. Wintrellius, why? Um, I guess it's okay that Monica doesn't have much in the way of attacks, uh, we're going to use the Staff of Vivacity, which has an ability called Power Heal. Um, basically, the staff, you can bump someone on the head and they get healed, uh, which is really convenient. Their teeth on board. Okay, we'll just wait. Because Ward will die in one hit even if we kill him. Uh, but Nora might survive if we keep healing her. She didn't survive. <laughs> okay. And then to revive characters in this game, you just heal them, so you don't have to use like a special revival spell or item or anything. You just uh, heal them like normal and they'll get right back up. Frigid Veil, he's gonna get hit by that. 
Down he goes. But you can see why it's a good idea to spread out the damage here, because this thing does a lot of damage. Oh, we did it! Okay, that can be a really tough fight, and everyone survived. Um, I've definitely had times where I got to this part and, uh, like, one person survived and I barely made it through. Thank you, that went better than I thought it would. And then he leaves the party, but then we can talk to him. And, uh, let him join the party back again. Which, because he left the party, the party changed, and so it changed our formation. We're gonna change back to Desert Lance for now, and hope we can glimmer, uh... A counter attack with uh, Ward. But we've been going for a long time. I think this is the longest episode yet. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one and bye bye.